Oh, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel, Yasha Salomon is your host, Yasha Salomon. Today I'm doing a reaction re reaction video to Marvel Studios Echo Official Prey Trailer 2024. Um, you know how I feel about Marvel. Uh, Marvel, I used to love watching these movies. Um, I remember, uh, when I was younger, uh, I was living with my grandma, and I ran away, me and her got an argument, and, um, I remember being just so stressed out, and depressed, and not wanting to deal with going back to her house, that, uh, and I know that would be in serious trouble once I got home. No, that was going to be in serious show once I got home. And just going to the theater in downtown Evanston, Illinois. Um, I don't know if it was AMC Theater or I think it was a Century Theater. It's one of the greatest theaters I've ever been to. It's beautiful. I love it. I went there to see Star Wars, Clone Wars. I saw... Uh, I saw a Spider-Man 2 in that theater. Um, I saw Incredible Hulk in that theater. Um, I saw so many. I saw like Wally in that theater. I've seen so many films in that theater. So many iconic films in that theater. Uh, so many. The Dark Knight. I remember when there was a line. Oh, yeah, I got was it again? I'm going off track. Marvel. Now. Ran by Disney. Oh no! I I, I was not done with my story, but uh yeah, I I went to a theater that night, and I remember going there and I was scared and stressed out and I got popcorn, um, soda, candy, and just went inside of the screening and watched, not screening but, um. The showing of Iron Man 1. And I fell in love with the MCU from here on out, from thin on out. From therefore, Ford, um, I fell in love with that IP. Uh, I thought it was incredible. You know, I thought all the movies were incredible. I uh, loved Incredible Hulk. A lot of people don't like that movie. I thought it was incredible. I thought it was incredible. <laughs> you know, um, I just loved all the original, the phase one, phase two films, phase three. Um, but phase four sucks. Um, and uh, I'm just kind of over Marvel now. I think Marvel has lost its way. I think there's no creatives, real creatives anymore there. Um, it sucks because uh, you know there's so many people that are really big fans of us, including myself, that grew up reading comic books. You know, like Marvel Zombies. You know, like I read the real Ro Marvel Zombies, the Rob was it uh, Robert Stuckman um, comic book, and I played Marvel. Uh, I think it's Marvel Nemesis. Let me look up this game. Dude, I, play, I, did, I I was so invested in Marvel before the MCU, like in the video games, comic books, you know, the Sam Raimi movies, the Spider-Man movies, Blade, you know, Wesley Snipes and all that. And it's just now, you know, they just ruined, they had a gold mine that they just ruined. And now we're stuck with YouTubers who are like nerdrotic, sitting around making money off of just hate, bait, and uh, just... Uh, uh, fucking uh, rage, uh, 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 clicks and stuff. It's just like I, I, I just, I don't know, man. And it's just like I, I don't know, man. I'm just, and then you have people that are like, um, Chris Stuckman, who are like, oh, I'm not going to wa review any bad movies anymore, or because I don't want to get uh, humiliated. Because when I make my movie, that we all know is going to be trash. <laughs> you know, because Chris Douglas is not a good reviewer. Remember when he said that Kong Skull Island was a good movie? I was like, this man is not 
a valid reviewer. Kong Skull Island is one of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. The writing is retarded. I am sorry. The writing in that film is retarded. You know, it's like you have to have a low IQ to be, find that movie amusing. It's like, dude, nothing makes sense. It's a Vietnam movie. You could have done so much with it. It could have been Apocalypse now, which they were going for. But they decided to make it goofy as fuck, where everyone just acts silly as fuck. It's just like, dude, and then you have Brie Larson. Even the scene where she's trying to lift a helicopter off this creature is like, why would she be doing that? Like, how would she lift a helicopter that's on top of a creature? She's not Captain Marvel in this movie. And then she didn't notice fucking King Kong standing right in front of her, grabbing the fucking helicopter. It's like, this shit doesn't make any sense. It's like, who wrote this nonsense? Oh, dude. But I don't want to get off of that. Marvel's just been trash, man. You know... Uh, oh, yeah, let me show you what Marvel Nemesis. Marvel Nemesis. Oh, my God. Rise of Imperfects. The real Marvel fans know what this is. I remember playing this game with my brother all the time. This game was so fucking awesome. I got to get a copy of this game. Dude, back when games were actually fun, I should Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. Dude, this game's so sick. Oh, dude. I love this game so much. I remember playing this game all the time. Wolverine, you know, I was like, that. See, this is the type of stuff that they should be making movies out of. You know, I bet you a lot of people, a lot of people don't even know what this game is. But I do, because I was a huge fan of Marvel. <laughs> You know, so when the MCU first came out and we got great, like, movies, I was like, this is a dream come true. Oh, my God, we're finally getting movies about these great comic book characters. And then Phase 4 is now showing us that they're just going to make a mockery of our childhood. And fake fans who are only here because they get paid off of YouTube and to commercialize garbage, you know... Like, I used to watch this channel called Ekamog Media Group, and they used to be cool as fuck to watch. They used to watch scary short videos. They used to, like, do reactions, and then actually give you their real reaction to things. You know, they'll do reviews and give you real reviews. Then, when they got a shout-out by Marvel, then they started making, like, just trash. You know, and it was their trash before that, in my opinion. Like, they were starting to become trash before that. You know, like the moment they said the witch wasn't good. I'm sorry, I can't respect anyone that's like the witch is not good. You know, it's like dude, you don't know what cinema then. You know, like you don't watch enough cinema to really understand what you're talking about. You know, because you're saying you're saying like it's not good, but then you go watch of like what fucking the Marvels, the Marvels, nigga. The the witch is bad. This movie that Robert Eggers took time to actually do research on that time period to bring back that dialect and teach and make the actors speak in a dialect uh actually use practical effects and go on to location and build up shacks like they really did in the, in the pagan era not the pagan era the pilgrim <laughs> so, you know but um yeah, no, it's like us. I can't respect you as a reviewer. I, I see you as just a com uh, salesman, like a car salesman or something. You know, like you're just selling us crap because you get paid by your fucking Patreon and your sycophants who just just are as blind and as you are. They're not even blind as you are because I think a lot of people doing that should know that they're these movies suck. But they're like, yeah, I'm just going to do this because I get paid. And it's two sides of it, too. They got the people who only talk shit about Disney every day. Shout out to WDW Pro channel, where it literally talks about Disney all the time. It's like, shut up. We don't. We get it. The rest of us don't care about Disney anymore. You're the only one talking about it because you get paid to do it. Same thing with Rock. Same thing with fucking geeks and gamers. And then they try pushing a conservative bullshit. It's like, I'm not no liberal. I don't like liberals either. 
and I'm not no conservative. I like conservative either. I think you're two different. You're just two children with two different ideologies. <laughs> Grow the fuck up both sides. I don't want to hear about this in my comic book stuff. You know, I read comic books to get away from that kind of shit. To get away from politics. Not to put politics into my comic books. You know? And this shit is... Like, I don't like the term that... How... Uh... YouTubers and modern media has stolen the term woke from black people, which used to mean stay woke, meant stay aware of police corruption and police brutality and gov- co- government corruption to, oh, movies and diversity in movies and shit. Now that's woke. It's like, no, that's, that's just pandering. It's not woke. It's pandering. You know, you know, it's pandering, you know. But um, insincere uh, pandering, insincere uh, diversity, you know, insincere reputation. You know, it's just to, to get people's in seats to get their money. They don't care about diversity. So, but uh, I went on for a long time talking here. Um, let's get into this. Uh, trailer for Marvel Studios Echo official prey trailer. I just wanted to just give you my how I felt about, you know, the whole thing. It was just like I'm just kinda of done with Marvel. But you know, fuck it. Let's just check this out. Hope you guys are doing good. Please like subscribe. It helps channel tremendously. Alright, let's get your discretion is advised. Amaya. I see you. I always have. Tigers move in silence to catch their prey. You are a tiger, Maya. What did you do? Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming January 9th. What did you do? He's a great actor. Daredevil's in it too. What did you do? Studio. It looks pretty. I forgot this fireplace is playing. I got my other earbud in, so I'm playing jazz in this earbud. I thought my room was literally on fire from me. I was like, <gasps> I don't know. I'm looking right at the fucking screen, too. I don't know why. I just heard fire. Shit. <laughs> but um, <laughs> it looks pretty good, in my opinion. Uh, re- people say it's not good. I've heard some bad things so far. Um, what is the date? January 10th. So it's out now. I haven't seen this yet. Um, I'm kind of interested in checking it out for myself. Um, I mean, this looks better than we've been getting recently, at least. So, I don't know. Let's check it out Let's, one more time together. Your discretion is advised. Maya, I see you. I always have. Tigers move in silence to catch their prey. You are a tiger, Maya. What did you do? Marvel Studios Echo. All episodes streaming. Interesting. Um, I'm mildly interested. I might give that a watch and give you guys a review. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen it, if you haven't, if you like it, if you don't like it. Let me know if I should check this out. Um, but yeah, as always, may the force be with you. Peace and out. What did you do?